Hi everybody, my name is Jim Reed. I am an elementary school teacher uh, and one of the things that I really love to do in my free time is I love to do stipple art. Uh, it's a method of drawing that involves making small dots to form a larger picture. And I've had a lot of people that uh, look at my work and they say, uh, you know, that's impossible, I could never do something like that. Uh, and I always respond with, it just takes a lot of patience. It's something that you can do. Uh, you just have to be willing to put the time into it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can start off in a, with a, a fairly simple technique. You'll start off with using one pen. Uh, the pen I'll be using is this uh, Micron uh, 01, 01, which is I believe half a millimeter or a quarter of a millimeter. Uh, so I'll be using this pen. It's a, it's a small pen. Uh, to make the initial drawing, uh, we are going to start with a rhinoceros, and I picked a picture by by Will Berard Lucas. He takes amazing pictures. I'll put a link in the description below to his YouTube channel. So, uh, if you've got yourself a pen and you have some uh, clean bristle board, this is a uh, type of smooth bristle board paper. I like using this kind of paper uh, because it gives you a nice flat surface to draw on. If you've got those two things. Uh, and you have uh, a way that you can do some tracing because we're going to start off with a tracing technique. So once you've picked your image, and in our case we've picked that really awesome image of that rhinoceros, uh, you'll go ahead and tape it to the back of a piece of bristle board. Uh, you tape it to the back of that piece of bristle board and then you can put it up against the surface like a window that's going to have light emanating from the other side. So here's my window, uh, here's my rhinoceros, you'll see that it comes through really nice and clear and I'll be able to trace the major points of that. I don't want to make it really detailed because I'm not going to be doing every single line in that rhinoceros. So. You'll see there, uh, just trace that out, and then I'll have the major points of what I need to do. Don't worry about getting every little piece, you just want your basic shapes. And here it is. Uh, here is the rhinoceros, stage one done. Now, 
Uh, for many people, you'll look at this and you'll be, you'll think this is perfectly fine, and it is. You can tell it's a rhinoceros. It looks like a, uh, it looks like our picture here. What I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to show you how to take this and take it kind of the next level. Uh, as you'll notice, this is a very flat image, especially once you compare it to the rhinoceros here on the picture. Uh, this rhinoceros is fantastic because it's got a lot of folds and textures and a lot of dark spots and light spots. This is fairly flat and uniform. So in my next video, I'm going to take two other pens, much larger and one a little bit smaller than this even, and I'm going to uh, make some areas dark. I'm going to make some areas with some more patterns involved. You'll see how this rhinoceros fills out to form much more of a three-dimensional shape because right now it's really flat.